So after I create a new slide, I will going to go to the Home tab and click the layout and change it to blank. Once I change it to a blank layout, I will going to go about building my slide layout and I'm going to be using the drawing group and I'll use these drawing shapes. So right in the drawing group, if you click on the more button, it gives you the list of the shapes. The shapes that I'm the shape that I'm planning on using for my first template is a rectangular shape. So I'll click on the rectangle. And I'm going to click and drag and draw one rectangle. In order for you to put anything in the rectangle, you just simply click on it and start typing. If you ever want to increase the size of it, it's done the same way as you do in PowerPoint. You click on the shape, and then you can go in the font group and give it a larger font size. Then you can drag and draw another one the same way <clears throat> and put um, different text in it, like. This will be my site navigation. This will be my site body. This will be a side. And then this will be my footer. So that's how you can create a basic look and feel of a site as to how you are planning on creating a site. And then, of course, you can create other variations to the site. Is what we'll do is we'll click on slide number three in the PowerPoint. And on the keyboard, you can press Control D to duplicate the slide. So we're going to create another slide called slide four with everything the same as slide three. So we'll just duplicate your slide. We're going to do a slight variation here to this site. We're going to click on the site header and we're going to slightly shorten it up to create some more room to its left. Then we will going to, from the shapes, maybe drag and draw an oval-like symbol like this. You can give it some height if you would wish, depending on the space you have. And I'll just put over here logo. So that means the designer will know that this place is a place for the logo. So that could be another variation. Let's duplicate slide number four. And we will going to place our navigation in a little bit of a different place than where it is right now. So what I will do is I will going to click on my navigation and shorten it up a little bit. Make it slightly thinner. I'll move it out of the way for now for me to restructure my rest of the site. And I'm going to put my navigation in a different location than where it was before. And I change the alignment of my current site header. So some sites have their navigation in different places than the other sites. Now, what we're going to do next is let's click on slide number three and let's duplicate slide number three again. So as I duplicate slide three, it will be pasted right below it. So this will be our new slide four, in which the only modification I would like to make is where it says a site, I'm going to get rid of that. I'm going to make it slightly larger than what it was before. 
And then from the drawing, I will use rec rounded rectangles to maybe stack and draw a couple of them. in which I can basically use it if I want to show any kind of a gallery or if I want to run any kind of an ads or flyers, whatever is the deal based on the site. It could be any of the many texts or it could be some other things. So that could also be used as different kind of placeholders. And I, I use rounded rectangles. They don't have to be of that shape. One of the good things about PowerPoint is with these guided lines, as you are making two shapes, it basically tells you where the two will stack on top of each other. So let's click on slide number three again, and let's duplicate it again. So this will be our new slide four, which is a duplicate of slide three. Now, what I'm going to do different is I will going to push my A side on the other side. And the reason I'm doing that is because some sides have more than one navigations. They do have a horizontal site navigation. And they also have a vertical site navigation. So depending on the sites, you may have different navigations. Like uh, if you go to Amazon.com, the site is so huge that you will be able to see there is a horizontal navigation and you also get to see a vertical navigation. So we will going to now click on slide number four, which is right now our vertical navigation. We're going to now duplicate slide four. And I will going to create multiple boxes right over here. So I have a vertical navigation box. So I shorten the width of it, uh, the height of this. So it creates this kind of a box. Now I'm going to click on it and press Control D. So you can duplicate a portion as well. And instead of calling it vertical site navigation, I will going to call this new place site filters exactly the same way as you saw on Amazon. So there is a portion for vertical site navigation and then there is a portion for site filters. So we will going to go back to slide number three and duplicate that. Now not all sites have a side. So you can get rid of that. Some sites basically create this kind of a look and feel as well, where you have a site header and a navigation and the rest of the site body. Now the site navigation could be in this form, could be in the form I just showed you, So if you go to Gateways page, you have a header and then you have a site navigation that run the same length as the page header, but the content of the page have some white spaces. So depending on the nature of the site, you may run into all these variations or more.